Welcome back, everybody. How about it for the greatest band on television, John Baptiste and Stay Human? Before the break, uh, we were talking about how to keep Thanksgiving there calm this year. That's right. Well, one surefire way to quiet your family is to give them salmonella by serving undercooked turkey. <laughs> but that's too radical for you. Another way to prevent that is to call the Butterball Turkey Talk Line, okay, which is not, I was disappointed to learn, a hotline where you can talk to a turkey. I have so many questions. <laughs> what, is, what is this thing up here? Well, yesterday, I showed you part one of my dramatic journey answering calls in America's heartland with the good folks at Butterball. You know, they say if you can help just one person, that's more than I did. <laughs> you see, last weekend, I actually flew out to Naperville, Illinois, the headquarters of the Butterball... We've got some turkeys here. <laughs> the Butterball uh, Turkey Talk Line, and I sat in with all the good corn-fed folks of Butterball, and tonight, we want to give you the dramatic conclusion of me talking turkey. Jim? The Late Show presents Stephen Colbert's Thanksgiving Turkey Tips. I visited the Butterball Call Center in Naperville, Illinois, to talk turkey. Hello, Butterball Turkey Talk Line. Uh, this is Alan. Can I help you? I have a question about stuffing. Oh, okay. Is that... Uh, what's your question about stuffing? Can I make it um, Wednesday morning and then take it to my daughter's on, on Wednesday night and you know, refrigerate it? Uh... How far away does she live? Between Niles and Park Ridge. So where are you located? Where am I located? Uh, right now, um, I'm in a federal max prison right now. <laughs> They're using uh, death row inmates to answer the phone calls right now. Truly, did you do something awful? Well, I mean, you don't get on death row for parking tickets. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah, but, you know. I have another call coming in, but you say I have a lot safe. of calls coming in. I'm also very busy. Okay. All right, bye. Bye. You'll know that it's done when the fire alarm goes off. Oh, okay. okay. Thank bye. you. Bye-bye. Welcome to the turkey talk line. Only the plumpest, fattest thighs, whether you like it white or whether you like it dark, it's time to go down. Hi, this is Phil. Can I help you? Uh, yes, I have a question, please. Each year, um, we... Uh, follow the turkey starting on Sunday, and by uh, Wednesday, I take it out, and we get the giblets out to, to cook. Okay. Now, you put it back in the refrigerator yeah. and until Thursday morning. Now, I have a problem with, like, a freezer burn. A slight freezer burn because it's thawed, you know? Okay. Do you have a garage? Yes. Put it in the garage. <laughs> where, are you, where are you right now? Where, uh, I'm checking on my weather map. Where, where are you calling me from? Florida. Oh, that's not a good idea. You don't want to put it in the garage. Are you understanding my question, sir? I'm not quite sure if we're on our same page here. Uh, but the, the thing to keep in mind is yep. that, you know, what, however you cook the bird and however you thaw the bird, yep. remember this is your journey and no one can judge you. All right. Okay. You know how they say dance like nobody's watching? There you go. I want you to cook like nobody's going to eat. <laughs> you cook you. Turkey talk line. This is Bobby G. How can I help you? Gobble, gobble. <laughs> All right, let's talk tea day. Um, I have a couple questions. Okay, I only have one answer is the problem, so okay. you're gonna have to prioritize. I have um, always made a butterball whole yeah. turkey, but since this year, a lot of people just like the white meat, so I'm going to be making the butterball turkey breast. Okay. Um, why? So a lot of people just like the white meat. There's people don't aren't responding to the dark meat this year. Right. Right. Why this year is different than all other years? Because it's different people. Okay. Oh, di different people are coming to dinner. Right. Okay. So the question I have is two questions. Yes. I notice that when I go to the store, the maximum I can find is six pounds. Is there bigger turkey breast than six pounds? Oh, butterfly? absolutely. What's the, what's the store you go to? I usually go to Jewel. I have a lot. Oh, yeah. We got a blackout on Jewel and anything above six pounds. There's a contract dispute. It's not your problem, and you don't want to know what it's about. It's a okay. family thing. But oh. the owner of Jewel broke up with the daughter of Butterball, and oh. uh, there's a family fight going on. And it's, oh, it's okay. I personally, I think it's ridiculous. It is. I'm with the Jewel guy. I don't understand why we're not sending them breasts that are bigger than six pounds. How big of, how much meat do you need? 
Well, um, it's going to be four people, but I'd like to give them leftovers to take home. Leftovers, so we can get you like a 22-pound breast. Really? That's yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, they, wow. We're selling them at CVS. Did you have a CVS in your head? No, but I could probably find one. So they keep the meat back there behind the pharmaceutical counter and just sit there and just say, I want an injection of hot white meat. And, and they'll go get you the turkey breast. Is there any other place besides this one, sir? Let me see. Do you have a problem with CVS? Is there not? I, I don't know if I have one in the area. I'm just okay. thinking as we talk. Do you have a Food Lion or a Piggly no. Wiggly or a no. Harris Teeter no. or a Fairway or no. a Whole Foods? Or uh, we might have a Whole Foods. Might have a Whole Foods. Yeah, they don't have it. I just want. Do, <laughs> do you have a Pizza Hut? Yes, I do. Pizza think Hut I is also going to be selling some of our Butterball turkeys this, this year. Um, is there any other place be besides? So, I so Pizza Hut also doesn't work for you. Well, I don't what know. do you have? And I'll tell you what. Tell me what else. Tell I me have, what you have. I have. I have a Walmart Super Center. Walmart? Yeah, they have that. Oh, they have a Walmart. Yeah. I'm sorry, you should have said that. They have a Walmart. But I don't know if they have the breast. Okay. Oh, of course not. No, we don't sell them the breast. They do have the thighs. They have dark meat. They have a lot of dark no, meat. No, sir. I'm just looking for a frozen turkey breast. Okay? I know, but why not some dark meat? Time. Why not some dark meat? They don't want it. I'm Get asking. Get some new friends. Yes, Can I talk fun. to somebody else? You're giving uh, me a hard time, sir. Please. You know, okay, look. Um, please accept my apology. Don't tell them it was me. Don't say my name. Do you know my name? Did I tell you my name? No, you didn't. My name is Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> Jimmy Fallon. F -A -L -L. So give, me, give me your manager. Give me your manager. I want to talk to another representative. Absolutely. Sorry. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you to everybody at Butterball. You're the best. We'll be right back.